This is Twit. So what else are you seeing in, in Q? We've got uh, the permissions revamps that are happening, and, and you've you posted a few updates about that, so obviously that's a big deal. The system-wide mm-hmm. dark mode. Um, I mean, there's the hints of a, a desktop mode that you wrote about. How, how fleshed out? Like, was that in the developer settings, and that's one of those things that, like, we're still going to be talking wish- about and wondering for the next two versions or <laughs> what? Yeah, the desktop mode is still um, kind of up in the air. I wish I had more information on that. Like I discovered, I did discover some more code related to it, but it doesn't tell us anything more than we already know. So mm-hmm. I can't really say much more on that. But I have discovered a lot more information on the permissions um, revamp, which is why I was planning on writing an article tomorrow, um, pretty lengthy about everything that we found out about the permissions revamp. Like a few things that I haven't I haven't t- uh, published in any articles yet, like um, so Google is adding a new category of permissions called roles, and mm-hmm. what they do are they're kind of like default apps, except um, there's a lot more of them. Like there's a call companion role, there's a call screener role, there's a I think a an auto assistant role. There's a browser role, a messaging role, which kind of sounds redundant because there's already like default apps for browser and messaging. Mm-hmm. And what I what I think um, Google is planning on doing is they're going to open up a whole bunch of roles, and when an app um, declares a certain permission and has certain components in their app, and the user says, "I want this app to have this role." then all the other permissions that are relevant to that role will be automatically granted. So say like you have a gallery app and you want this app to be the gallery, you want to have, you want it to have the gallery role. Um, then it'll automatically be granted any permission that's relevant to gallery apps, which is like Ooh. reading and writing, uh, the external storage, uh, reading and writing um, uh, audio files, images, videos, which are actually separate permissions now in Android Q. So uh, now an app just won't have blanket access to the external storage. Um, now they'll have to request access to read images, uh, read music files, read video files, read the metadata of, of image files. So they're really like improving privacy in, in multiple ways. Hmm. That's fascinating. Um, so roles, and do you, is this going to require a lot of input on the user's part to define these things, or this is really up to the app developers mm-hmm. to define those roles? I think this is more of an app developer thing. Uh, I wish I could actually like test it out and try it, but the yeah. problem is there's not a single app that is implemented yet because there's no one outside of Google and me who has Android right. Q yet, so right. I can't really test it. <laughs> I had to dig around in in like a system app to find out what roles do. Um, but I think that's the direction Google is going to take. Now, now Bleak in the chat room is pointing something out that, that Google um, often, you know, kind of succumbs to, which is, is going a little bit further down the rabbit hole than, than maybe anyone feels comfortable with. In other words, Bleak yeah. is saying like, we need more granular. I'm already I getting was permission that fatigue. Too, though. I was thinking that too. Like, oh great, more well, stuff than I need and, to. <laughs> and what you're talking about with roles kind of reminds me of, of how I felt when I heard about the notification channels, which was like, mm. that you know, that was that feature where you could kind of group certain notifications in with each other and it sounded really useful and everything. But when it came down to it as a user, I just... I, I almost had notification fatigue to the point to where I just didn't want to have to set all that stuff up, you know, and taking the time to do the work ahead of time. Sure, yeah. if you're really ambitious and you and you want to go for it, it probably doesn't take that much time, but it's yet another thing to have to think about and to manage. And and uh, at a certain point, birds are just swirling over your head and you're like, I'm, <laughs> I'm done. It's all the tweeting yeah. that you're angrily doing. <laughs> yes, exactly. So hopefully yeah. it's not it's it's not as, as fatiguing as, as mm-hmm. that can get uh, often with Google stuff.